力拔山兮，岂敢惧？他是中国最暴力的拳手，一人接连横扫八国高手，一双摧筋断骨的无情铁拳，不是将对手打得头破血流，裁判赶紧叫停比赛，就是将对手打得昏死擂台，亦或紧急上台进行抢救。他就是暴力大鹏张力鹏，这位中国武术界的璀璨明星，每一次出场。都如同一场精彩绝伦的表演，他用汗水和努力诠释了中国武术的无穷魅力。后来的很长一段时间内，这个男人统治了自己的级别，在昆仑决的擂台上，一年时间内，张力鹏接连横扫八国高手，拿下了九连胜的不败战绩。那一张极富野心与欲望的脸，一度撑起了中国男子综合格斗领域的半边天。更因其凶猛的打法，被全迷称为“暴力大鹏”。就让我们查案点赞三秒，一起来看一看。张力鹏在擂台上的暴力时刻吧。张力鹏对阵日本选手能登虫。比赛铃声敲响，张力鹏进攻欲望强烈，短暂的交手后，他瞅准时机直接冲了上去，直接将日本人抱摔砸地，将比赛拖入了地面当中。地面较量中，张力鹏死死地压制着能登虫，不给对方任何翻身的机会，慢慢调整自己的身位，一个翻身骑驴，直接骑在了能登虫的身上。调整好身位后，张力鹏开始尽情的进行输出，拳头、肘接像冰雹一样不断的砸向能登虫的面门。渐渐的，日本人的抵抗变得微弱。
此时的裁判看见如此暴力的张立鹏，竟一时间吓得愣了神。等裁判反应过来，叫停比赛。能登虫已经陷入了昏厥当中。台下医护人员紧急登台进行抢救。张立鹏对阵加拿大选手凯文德洛。罗呢，个头更高一些，呃，对，呃，但张立鹏显得更舒爽。比赛铃声敲响，两人没有任何的试探，直接开战。双方全来腿网，互有命中。凯文知道站立自己不是张立鹏的对手，随即突然一个下前抱摔，想要将比赛拖入地面当中。张立鹏早有防备，重心下移，两人在围绳边角力。呃，防摔没问题。对，现在在角落。好，张立鹏借着劲儿推开。张立鹏有没有这种主动进入地面的这种想法啊？好、哦，张立鹏是双手从腋下穿出，对，双腋下搭扣，啊，防备不错，好、哦，顶膝。较量中，张立鹏通过一个半摔。成功将凯文压制在了身下，随即张立鹏开启了地面砸拳，打得凯文只能抱头防守。凯文要注意啊，张立鹏在这个位置的地面锤击是非常，呃，终结率是非常高的。对，所以对方的双腿防守也非常严啊。对，搭扣了，嗯，身体上锁死。哦，变换拿手臂。啊、呃，那这个应该这个动作太大了。对，动作太大，过于慢。对。这个你像有时候这种锁击动作，跟有时候运动员在背后或者两侧没有长眼睛看不到，但是整个身体是有感知的。是，这个太明显了，这个动作。对。啊，凯文还在做尝试，转过来。啊，凯文现在是一点空间不敢给张立鹏啊。好，锤击肘击。好。呃，锤肘。这几次锤击好像有点效果啊！对，哦，砸肘，连续砸肘，哦，连续的砸肘。凯文现在只能是被动的防守，哦，全肘都有。对，哦，凯文还是，哎呦，蹬开，哦，这锤击很重。凯文还是要做动作呀，不能只是这样抱头，做最被动的这种防守。如果是这样的话，就意味着打下去你只会受到更多的伤害，裁判一定会终止比赛。对。大鹏做了一个小动作，把凯文的左手压到后背。如果右手有砸拳的话，那么凯文就危险了。对，张立鹏牢牢的占据着上位压制，拳头犹如 AK 四七一般，不停的扫向凯文的头部。凯文只能抱头防守，无力反抗。裁判见此情况，赶忙叫停了这一场比赛。此时，凯文的头部已经被张立鹏打得裂开了一个口子，鲜血流满了整张脸。医护人员立马冲上擂台进行处理。张立鹏对阵巴西选手伊塔洛·冈萨尔维斯。Hey! When pride was pride, round one, the ring was was what the ring was. It was, it was there for the spectacle and the sport. You remember when Melvin Mann and Mike Hoff killed Mark on the drive? 比赛铃声敲响，张立鹏颇显大将风范，沉着冷静，不急不躁。众所周知，巴西柔术享誉世界。两人经过几次拳腿接触。伊塔洛就迫不及待进入地面，下前抱摔张立鹏，想要将比赛拖入地面当中。不过张立鹏反应迅速，重心下移，防住了伊塔洛的抱摔。僵持中，伊塔洛的力量优势明显，成功带倒了张立鹏，并且成功占据上位压制。不过因为大鹏严密的防守，伊塔洛显得无计可施。Obviously not if they're still not around. Hey yo! <laughs> Booyah! <laughs> Goodbye, John. What's happening here? Perfectly uh, obvious. Uh, perfectly obvious. Is Zhang has him in the guard. He's bringing that leg up, holding that leg, trying to get something, possibly a triangle or an armbar. It's basically a setup. This is not going to. This this arm and leg. Around is not going to affect the Brazilian, but what it is going to do is shift him into a position, which Zhang is hoping for.
，裁判见两人一直在僵持，迟迟做不出有效的进攻动作，最终让他们重新站立开始。经过地面较量后，双方对彼此的力量和技术都有了一定了解。伊塔洛对自己柔术技术的自信，再次选择下前抱摔。张立鹏岂能再让他得逞，反而将伊塔洛压在身下。When it comes to the cardiovascular skills, nice elbow there by、uh, the Chinese fighter, straight on the jaw. Oh, you can hear someone screaming, elbow, elbow. Now again, I'm not sure what Kung Moon Fight actually does. We should have actually found this out. I believe there's no soccer kicks, but everything else should be under unified rules. So the global rule set is the only one that does、uh, soccer kicks. Zhang Lipeng wants to use his own unique kicks to hurt his opponent, but the opponent's defense is also good. 不给他攻击空间。就在此时，上演了惊险一幕：伊塔洛突然拿到手臂十字固的位置，想要降服大鹏。就在大家都有点担心的时候，张立鹏毫不犹豫直接抱起对手，重重的向地面摔击，摔开了对手所击，实在是太霸气了。张立鹏这一下砸击，彻底击垮了伊塔洛的斗志。伊塔洛只有招架之功，没有还手之力，只能被动的接受着张立鹏的拷打，一直到比赛回合结束。So you can see the Brazilian trapping that left arm right there. So here's a question for you right now. Yeah. For someone who's just tuning in right now, they're coming to kickboxing organization. Yep. Who's in the dominant position right now? They're neither of them. Neither, neither of them. them. Neither of them. There are just as many submissions that he can do, holding that arm and trapping that there. What's the mentality now of the Brazilian fighter having his legs wrapped around the lower torso of so, so that is referred、fighter. to again as the closed guard, and, and now he can open it up and maneuver himself away. Butterfly guard, open rubber guard,、okay. any of these types of, of, of movements to what, once again go for a submission attack off his back. Again, everybody always thinks that just because you're on top, you're on top. That has been proven time and time again not to be the case. Oh yeah, of course. And personally, you know, as a wrestler, I would rather be on top. Okay. But a lot of Brazilian jiu-jitsu guys plan on、uh, plan on attacking off of their back. All right. Wow. So how tiring is this? It's a grind. It's an absolute grind. But the thing is, is just like what, what I was talking about with wrestling, or just like when ties in Muay Thai are are clinch,、uh, going at a clinch. You know, you know when you go to Pech and D, they do 45 minutes of yeah, clinching a day. You're trained for it. You're your trained body, for it. Your body、yeah. is adapted for it. And so this is a natural environment、so、for both of these guys. Why is the referee? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll stop talking for a second. I was going to say, why is the referee not stopping this? Because, but he's obviously got some positions where he can find. Oh, he can definitely find. He can definitely find a mark for his elbows, especially. Remember that those are there, so he'll land them to the body right there. Come、okay. back to the head. We're approaching the final 30 seconds of round one. Wow! Great elbow there. Thunder elbows there, and, and, and coming down on the pounding on the、yeah. head, lying on the canvas. Now again, I don't know Italo. I've never seen him fight. Four and zero, undefeated in MMA. But as I was saying, this guy Zhang is the welterweight world champion for Kung Fu.、Uh, yes, Huge experience. Huge experience. And right now he is in his world, and that and that world is referred to as GNP. Or ground and pound. 35 fights in MMA. It's quite a big number. 比赛来到第二回合，张立鹏高扫上头，先发制人，打得伊塔洛趔趄后退。随即，张立鹏得势不饶人，快速上前用拳法呼向伊塔洛的面门，伊塔洛也被激起了血气之勇，和张立鹏正面硬拼，撑住了这一口气。站立状态下，伊塔洛完全不是张立鹏的对手，他再次选择抱摔，但在已经残血且力量不占优的情况下。伊塔洛又怎么会是张立鹏的对手呢？再一次被张立鹏压在了身下。Regroup, rethink, and recapture his brain. Recalibrate. Oh、so、yeah, bro. I can see you, John. You're so in your element right now. I love it. I love it. There's nothing wrong with that. I love myself too. <laughs> Huge elbow. Zhang is definitely doing his damage. Ground and pound, Fugitopti, brother. Oh yeah, he's training out of Fugitopti. Eric Ersk is the、uh, wrestling coach, main MMA coach there. Boyd Clark again. Big shout out to those guys. The whole of Soi Taiyid is basically mixed martial arts road. If there's one place you want to go to train. Those elbows have got venom. Literally. 
serious, serious power. It's even worse with the head is on the canvas. It's smart now by the Brazilian fighter to raise that hand up to... I get what you're saying about he's comfortable lying on his back and lock. It just seems like he's not doing anything. Correct. Uh, and again, if you're not skilled with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or you're not skilled with Judo or a, a lot of the grappling techniques, I obviously understand how that could look. You know, a lot of the Chinese organizations used to do, what did they use? You know, a couple of them would do 10 seconds on the ground, 30 seconds on the ground, and then stand them up. But as we've seen in the premier organization, the UFC, a lot of people can get submitted off their back. Okay. And, you know, that's why we keep it, is because obviously he's, somebody's not down and out with her like that. But great blood flowing from yeah, Italo yeah. He's, now he's via bloody. those he's elbows. Brutalizing his face right now. Uh, ground and pound obviously is a, is a term that has been. 张立鹏运用高频率的肘击直冲一塔罗灭门不一会儿的功夫一塔罗就被打得血染满面无力招架裁判见此情况赶忙终止了比赛张立鹏又一次以 